Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 11. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to interpret the unknown in multiplication and division to solve problems. We're learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently in real-life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can use a tape diagram, also known as a bar diagram, to model finding the unknown in multiplication and division problems. Javier plants eight rows of nine orange trees. After a while, he notices that only 28 of the trees are growing oranges. How many trees are not growing oranges? So looking at the bar diagram, we can see that the unknown is t. We're trying to solve for t first. We want to know how many trees in all Javier plants. Javier plants eight rows of nine, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes with nine in each box. So that's the first thing we want to solve for. What is T? How many trees did Javier plant? Javier planted 72 trees because 8 times 9 equals 72. So T equals 72. Now we're going to look at the second part of the question. He notices that only 28 of the trees are growing oranges. How many trees are not growing oranges? That means that we need to find the difference between the total number of oranges that he planted and the trees that are, that are growing in oranges. That would tell us how many are not growing oranges, right? We don't know how many are not growing oranges. So we can say that x equals trees not growing oranges. So what is x? It's the difference between 72 and 28. 44 trees are not growing oranges. He planted 72 trees because 8 times 9 is 72. And if he has 28 trees that are growing oranges, That'll leave 44 because 72 minus 28 equals 44. Here's another example. Coco spends $56 to travel 12 miles by bus. It costs. $16 to ride the bus for the first two miles. How much does it cost per mile to ride the bus for the rest of the trip? So Coco spends a total of $56. That's the number at the top, which signifies all of the boxes. We want to know how much she spends per each mile, so we should have 12 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we want to know how much does she spend for one box. Well, 
but what do we already know? We know that she spends $16 for two miles. How does that help us? So if two miles cost $16, what does one mile cost? On the bar diagram, we've later labeled a C for each mile, and R is the rest of the trip. So we want to find the difference between 56 and 16. First, 56 minus 16 is 40. So this part down here equals 40. I know that's correct because 16 plus 40 equals 56. So now we have to find out how much does each of these miles cost. Well, there are 10 boxes, and there are 40 in all, so each box, or C, equals 4, because 40 divided by 10 equals 4. Answer, it costs $4 per mile for the rest of the trip. We found that answer by subtracting 16 from 56 to get 40, and then we divided 40 divided by 10 equals 4. Okay, it's time for our read, draw, write question. A bakery has 18 loaves of bread set out onto trays. There are three trays of bread for sale. How many loaves of bread are left after the bakery sells one tray. So a bakery has 18 loaves of bread set out on trays. There are tr three trays of bread for sale. So if there are three trays, I want to have three boxes. And I know that there are 18 loaves in all. So how many are in each tray? Each tray would have 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So on one tray, there would be 6 loaves of bread. The second part of the question says, how many loaves of bread are left after the bakery sells one tray are left? That means it's a subtraction equation. So one tray is six, so he's selling one tray. So he's starting with 18, and he's subtracting, oops, not dividing, subtracting six. 18 minus six equals 12. So this number right here, I'm going to call L, the number that are left, right? After he sells one, there are two trays left. So L equals 12.
There are 12 loaves left because there are 6 loaves on each tray and 18 minus 6 equals 12. Let's check our answer. Answer, there are 12 loaves of bread left. Each tray has six loaves because 18 divided by three equals six. The bakery sells one tray, so that is 18 minus six equals 12. Okay, it's your turn to complete a read, draw, write question. We'll read the question together, then you'll draw a math model and write sentences to explain your answer. When you're completely done, you've made your juiciest answer possible with the most explanation and a neatly drawn model. You're going to look in the description box below and compare your answer to my answer. And remember, if your answer is worded just a little bit differently, but it has the correct answer, the correct number, the correct idea, you're still correct. There's room for a little bit of difference in wording. Okay, let's read it together. Brian has five boxes of markers. He puts eight markers in each box. Brian brings 15 markers to school and leaves the rest at home. How many markers does he leave at home? So the first thing you want to do is find out how many markers he has in all. So this is part one of the question. And we want to know how many he leaves at home if he brings 15 to school. Okay, go do your very best work. You can pause the video here while you complete your answer, and I'll see you in the next lesson.